Well, hello and welcome to Wise Mothers. My name is Sally Thibault. Well, in this very quick video today, I want to talk a little bit about teenagers and helping them stay focused. Do you know, I love this time of the year, this gap between Christmas and the beginning of the school or the work year, because it really gives everybody an opportunity to spend time thinking about what it is you want to achieve for the year. Do you know, the ability to, be, to stay focused and to be clear on what it is you want in your life is really the key to success in any endeavor. The problem is, in this era, era of uh, technology, mass marketing, and social media, is it's really easy to get pulled out of your own focus and to begin to think everybody else is having a far better life than you are. Our role as our children's parents is to help them maintain focus, help them make the right decisions, help them to make right choices. And this time of the year is perfect to be able to set this up for the coming year. And I want to share three quick tips about how you can do that. First one, help your child create a one word theme for the year. Now, I wrote a blog on this back in December, and I have to tell you, we've been using this now for about three to four weeks for every member of the family, and it's an incredibly powerful tool. The things that have happened in our family in the last three to four weeks that are just keeping us moving in the direction we want to head by choosing that one word theme is quite extraordinary. It is a very powerful tool. Help your child create that one word theme and you do it too and it will really set the tone for the year to come. Number two, once you've got that theme, now it's about creating their goals and the intentions for the coming year in all aspects of life, physical, emotional, spiritually, and whether that be business or in education. Help your child set up goals in each of those areas based on the one word theme. And then what you do is that every question, every uh, decision that you make, does it fit in with that theme that you've chosen at the beginning of the year? You know, for many of our teenagers right now, because of the amount of information uh, they are receiving constantly, they, they move into this um, choice paralysis and information overload where they're terrified of making a wrong decision. When you create that theme and set goals around it, the ability then to make really wisdom-based decisions becomes very simple. Throughout the year, just ask the question, does this decision, does this opportunity fit in with my theme for what I want in throughout the year. Number three, become your child's accountability buddy. Help them throughout the year. Stay focused on what it is they want. Do you know, their brains really aren't developed fully until our kids are in their early 20s, that, that rational, reasonable decision-making process. And so it takes a lot of effort and time to help your child to move into the, that um, area of focus. Set up regular meetings with your child, or even if you're just peeling the potatoes or hanging up the clothes on the line together, just to ask the question, you know, how are things going with your, with your goals that you've set? Or if they come home and say to you, I've been given an opportunity to do whatever it is, refer it back, does that fit in with your theme? You'll be surprised how easy it is to make decisions about what it is you want and stay focused. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye for now.